gets the plan down, but he's the last man standing. Hey guys, this is Finesse from Team Energy. K is fading, but Finesse comes up once more. Today, I'm going to show you guys some lineups and tricks that'll help you guys rank up. Four kills for the IGL. What a difference maker. The first lineup I'm going to show you guys is Fade on Ascent, and this will help you guys take sight a lot easier. What you do at the start of the round is you use your prowler, you make sure that this is all clear, and then once your team is set up completely, they'll tell you to throw your stuff. You throw your eye right towards here beside this ledge, just a jump throw, and you'll see that it lands up here. Basically anyone that isn't hidden or even jiggles a little bit will get hit by it. It's a really reliable eye to help your team get the site. And then with that eye, you just move your crosshair a little bit right here, and then you throw a root. And that root hits door, so no player's door can actually help the guys in the site and you're able to scale in. This specific lineup is a KO knife lineup that goes inside of Garage. You basically just line up with the barrier. You wanna put the bottom of your crosshair on this little ledge. It's pretty difficult, so you should definitely go into server and try to practice this as much as possible. And so as soon as the barrier goes down, you throw it. It lands deep inside of Garage as opposed to outside of it, which helps you basically turn off any Sentinel or Smokes character that would be here. And if you're able to do that, then all his trips or mollies or whatever are useless and you could rush. Killjoy on this map is pretty like common for the most part. I help my team take the long A control, and then once they're ready to hit the A site, what I'll normally do is I'll line up against the sandbag, and then you see this like wood thing at the top, you just go all the way up till you meet this, so that to that, and then you throw, and then you quickly jump up and just hug this whole thing, and then right there, just this corner of this roof, you just throw again. But the first molly lands right here, so anyone that's playing around here just gets completely molotoved, and then the second Molotov lands right here. Perfect accuracy. So say the player chooses, okay, I'm gonna play retake. He's just gonna keep getting hit by the molly and die before he gets out. Is that the best you've done? I'm gonna show how you can help your team take C with C site mollies. What I call this is a squirrel molly. And I call it a squirrel molly is because that thing looks like a squirrel. So you go to the tip of this thing and look up in between this and this tree, and then you throw, that lands here. And it makes it really difficult for anyone to play that area, so they have to just run away or wide peek you and die. So you throw that molly first, and then you run all the way to here as fast as you can. And by that time, your teammates have already droned up and stuff. You put your crosshair on this wood panel, and then you run jump, and that lands in spawn. So anyone that's rotating in can't really help the C player. And if the C player decides to leave, then he gets hit by the volley as well. It helps your teammates basically scale up. So for Sentinel players, it's ideal that you throw these kinds of mollies to help your team. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and watch the BCT games. Hopefully they help you as well. Down to the two anchoring players, Finesse. And this anchor, oh my goodness! Oh my gosh. I need a script, bro. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I don't actually need a script, I'm kidding.